Local law enforcement agencies and school districts are urging parents to talk with their kids. Yeah, this is after, of course, a series of arrests involving school threats following the deadly shooting in Georgia. So the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office and the Duval County School District announced five students were arrested yesterday. We've also learned of two arrests in Columbia County and one in Baker, all on similar charges associated with school threats. News for Jackson reporter Aaron Farrar is joining us now live. Aaron. So one of the websites or resources available for people is this website from the Secret Service that gives it a guideline or an outline on how to possibly prevent school violence, including school shootings. Also in this website, it also gives an idea of resources available to parents to help them talk with it to their kids and their students about how serious threats like that are. Dr. Justin Dorenzo is a clinical and forensic psychologist in Jacksonville. Some of them will think it's funny, but then other ones are um, making a serious threat. So the, we need to err on the side of caution and take every threat seriously. He says, sadly, there are typically copycat threats after a mass shooting, with the most recent one being the one last week at a Georgia high school where two students and two teachers were killed. Dorenzo says some students even consider making threats a joke. That's why he says it's critical for parents to have what might even be considered an uncomfortable conversation with their kids. It's important that every parent sits their child down and has a frank conversation about what happened. And this is not to scare the child, but also to remind them and check in with the child to see if they're a threat at all, but also to discuss the nature of make about joking about this, taking things, you know, that we need to take things seriously and never to make any kind of threat because whether somebody means it or not, I mean, the school's going to take it very seriously. Of the five arrests announced yesterday in Duval County, Sheriff TK Waters says the youngest student is just 11 years old. In that case, he says the threat read, quote, Hello, fellow citizens. Don't worry. Just don't come to school tomorrow unless you want 15 pounds of lead added to you at an extremely fast rate. We also told you about the threat in Columbia County earlier this week. Here's a snapshot showing part of that threat. The threats were not credible, but investigators say they will always be taken seriously. Do not, under any circumstance, in any school, charter school, online, make a threat to shoot up our schools. We're not going to sit back and allow you to make that threat. I can promise you this, as long as I'm sheriff here and this kind of stuff's going on, we're going to hunt and we're going to find and we're going to hold these people accountable. Anyone is able to report suspicious activity and threats, and they can do that through this app called Fortify Florida. We've talked about this several times before. This is a quick and an anonymous way for people to get information as quickly as they can to the appropriate law enforcement agencies to handle situations like that. This app is available on Google and Apple devices as well. We're live this morning. I'm Aaron Furrar, Channel 4, the local station.